for um, holding these hearings, first of all. Um, Planned Parenthood of Metropolitan Washington supports this legislation. It's a common sense proposal to inform women in Montgomery County um, that crisis pregnancy centers, also known as limited service pregnancy centers, do not refer or provide for birth control or abortion. Planned Parenthood believes that women seeking information about pregnancy, birth control, abortion, or sexually transmitted diseases should receive timely and medically accurate information, as this information is crucial to the health and well-being of a mother. Instead of receiving information to prevent unintended pregnancy and reduce the need for abortion, CPCs in Montgomery County often discourage women from using the most reliable methods of birth control, leaving them vulnerable to unintended pregnancy all over, all over again. Although CPCs represent themselves as comprehensive women's health care facilities offering women free pregnancy tests and options counseling, CPCs in Montgomery County promote medical misinformation about birth control and abortion in order to intimidate or coerce women from seeking those services. So unwittingly, women who enter CPCs are walking into a trap. Expecting to receive neutral, comprehensive medical care, they are instead manipulated with biased information designed to coerce and scare them. Women have been told that abortion causes breast cancer and suicide, statements that have been refuted by the National Cancer Institute and the American Psychological Association. Women are told that condoms will not protect them from HIV, AIDS, and sexually transmitted infections, despite the evidence to the contrary. Women have even been told that birth control pills are abortion faces, despite the American College of excuse me, Obstetricians and Gynecologists' statement that birth control pills prevent pregnancy and do not cause an abortion. Women facing unintended pregnancy deserve medically accurate information about pregnancy, birth control, and abortion. They deserve to know their full range of options. Furthermore, they deserve to have those options presented in an unbiased fashion. Planned Parenthood believes that this honest communication is essential to a healthy provider-patient patient relationship. The sole intent of a CPC is to dissuade women from terminating a pregnancy. This resolution simply asks CPCs in Montgomery County to disclose the facts that they do not provide or refer for comprehensive birth control services or abortion, so that women know upfront whether the facility suits their needs. Just as women should never be coerced into having an abortion, they should not be manipulated they into are. continuing a pregnancy. Women deserve to know their full range of options. That is why Planned Parenthood of Metropolitan Washington fully supports this legislation, and we urge you to support it as well. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Gail Tierney. Hi, good evening, council members. My name is Gail Tierney, and I'm the founder and executive director of the Rockfield Pregnancy and have been for 22 years. I have a master's degree in counseling from Trinity College in Washington, D.C. I'm opposed to this legislation which challenges our status as a medical clinic. We have licensed medical, we have been a licensed medical clinic for over a decade. We have one of our obstetrician gynecologists tonight here with us who's also an army surgeon. Uh, we have a nurse practitioner, we have a nurse. Raise your hand. And we have sonographers. Um, included in this packet are their licenses. Uh, their medical duties are providing sonograms, testing and treating sexually transmitted diseases, and providing pap smears. Our medical personnel provide medical advice in a doctor-patient relationship, and we are the medical provider clients go to when deciding what to do with an unplanned pregnancy. This resolution resolution would require us to make false statements to our clients. I will also submit our CLIA license. The CLIA is the Clinical Laboratory Improvement Amendments, which every medical clinic has to have. It is only issued to medical clinics and labs. We refer women for prenatal care and delivery. If she chooses abortion, we provide her with information that she can take with her to her provider of choice. 
We have a long-time partnership with the Montgomery County Department of Health by verifying the pregnancy of the hundred, uh, hundreds of women they send to us each year. And we have a partnership with the Dennis Avenue STD Clinic, um, and they supply the test to us. And um, we have a partnership with the Maryland State Labs who test our cultures. The Rockville Pregnancy Center provides valuable service to your constituents for these past 22 years. We've seen over 40,000 families in this time. If the county had to fund what we do, it would cost the county hundreds of thousands of dollars. We're completely privately funded. We accept no government funding. We're a nonprofit medical clinic whose activities uh, this resolution would attempt to restrict. The abortion lobby has tried to discredit pregnancy centers for years and it has never worked. Are you aware of the manual called the Unmasking of Fake Clinics distributed by NARAL? The NARAL handbook provides a step-by-step -step guide and attack plan for discrediting pro-life pregnancy centers. This is a waste of tax dollars in fruitless actions of using state and local legislators to take official action against pro-life pregnancy centers to further their own cause. Actu finally, actual clients, not fake clients like you'll hear tonight, love pregnancy centers and have never had a legitimate complaint from a client, a real client, in our 22-year history. Right. Thank you very much.